Okay, literally no kidding. Um, I actually almost got a date wrong right as I was getting this video together. And the only reason why I got it right now is because apparently I already ran out of storage on my phone. So, yeah, I have to, I'm basically starting this video over again, but I wasn't... The good news is I actually wasn't even a minute in. Like, the video, like, the screen just, like, went to, uh, you know, the actual home screen on my phone that shows, like, all the apps and whatever. So, I basically get an opportunity to start the video over again. Though, now you guys are probably wondering what date did I get wrong. Well, for whatever reason... And I swear I couldn't make this up. I felt as if it was on this day, 11 years ago, May, you know, May 29th, uh, 2009. This was the day I thought I graduated from Trinity Poly. Because I remember it being a Sunday, and I remember being particularly late in the month of May when it happened. And it was also the day before Memorial Day. So, like, everything was starting to align into place. But it turns out that uh, I looked up a calendar right before I got everything started. And it was actually uh, May 25th is when I graduated from Trinity Poly. Not the 29th. Oops. Although... Hmm. You know. Yeah, why not? I'll do. It's been a while since I've done one. I'll do another TP Tales. Though, what will I do? Well, how about I tell you about the day I uh, graduated? Good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. Which means Friday for me is always definitely a reader's day. Um, before I get into the story, though, you know, a few uh, housekeeping things. Uh, Yesterday's episode of Hot Ones, Sean Evans tells a story. The link will be in the description. But, you know, you gotta say, you know, Sean Evans actually had to go to a pretty high authority to get this story told. So, um, that was, uh, that was really cool. Um, yesterday I spent the evening with my folks. You know, uh, for dinner last night we had, uh, Chickens in the crock pot with uh, sort of that packaged, like, simply choice rice stuff, I think it is. I forget what it is. Or chef's choice, I forget what it's called. Um, and we had salad for dinner. So that was a very lovely evening. And, um, yeah, that uh, that's about the extent of what happened there. So, again... Let's get into, uh, yeah, not again, I haven't even started yet. Let's, well, technically, this is my second start of a video, so, yeah, why not? Um, right, so, the day I graduated from Trinity Poly. Now, I don't think I've ever actually gone into detail as to what happened on that day, but I think it's about time I do that. I mean, with the class of 2020 getting out, and, you know what, I'll do both graduations, why not, from Horseheads and uh, Trinity Pauling. Um, well, I'll do Horseheads because Horseheads was first. Um, I'll never forget this day. Oh, technically I'll never forget both days, but Horseheads happened a little... Actually, no, I don't want to talk about horses. I'll do, I'll do that when it's actually in June, because that's what it was. This is Trinity Pauling. So, Trinity Pauling. Now, a little bit of background for this. Throughout the course of the year, and I was told about this well before going in to the year, actually, that one of the biggest mistakes any senior makes at Trinity Pauling is... Even though they should know better, and even though everything is poised to help them succeed, they all, a senior will always find themselves getting into trouble. And by getting into trouble, I mean 
doing stuff they shouldn't do, something involving a certain beverage, mind you, that not only gets them into trouble, but you do not graduate from Trinity Pauling if that happens. Because you are technically on a school campus. You know, you do anything illegal in terms of drugs or alcohol, you're done. You do not get to graduate. And believe me, some seniors have gotten themselves into trouble the night before graduation. Oh yeah, it's happened before. Um, now, I've said this story. Now, this part of the story I have told before. I actually remember what I was doing the night before graduation. And it was myself and a couple of my brothers. We were actually in like the one really big... Because here's the thing, it was a single, but this room was big enough for a double, so it was awesome. A bunch of us got together. We first, this is what, well, this is back when the game uh, Mortal Kombat versus DC came out. Or is it DC versus Mortal Kombat? That, that game came out, and we started playing that, and for a little while we started watching The Count of Monte Cristo, but at that point... It was getting so late that um, I was starting to doze off. So at that point, you know, I had to go home. Back to my dorm, that is. Now, I had known that teachers were going to be sort of out patrolling to make sure seniors weren't getting themselves into trouble. Which, you know, thank you, teachers, for looking out. But I really didn't expect both of my dorm parents. Two of them, they were both my coaches in track, actually. One of them was for cross country. To be just sitting, like, in lawn chairs right outside of Dunbar. Just sitting there. You know, and that was, like, pretty much the end of it. Also, you're going to find this rather um, funny. I don't remember seeing my roommate at all that night. Like, I think he showed up back in my, in my dorm, like, when I was asleep. So, you know, um, then, so... Needless to say, I didn't get myself in any trouble that night. I did graduate from Trinity Poly, obviously. But, you know, it's nice. I should probably explain that because, you know, with, you know, the temptation of doing something bad, you know, right before the end, you know, you know did I do any of that? Well the, well, the short answer is no, I didn't. So I was, a, so barring like the next several hours that morning, you know, I was essentially in the clear. So, what exactly did I do the next morning? Well, I woke up, you know, uh, got, you know, sort of dressed in some, you know, relatively you know, casual clothing. Because, you know, it really wasn't anything major going on or anything. And I walked over to uh, the dining hall, which was the barn. I told you about the barn. And, uh, no kidding, I had been training Polly the entire year. And not once did I ever have waffles for breakfast. So, I actually had waffles for breakfast that day. Or was it? Yeah, it was waffle. Yeah, I actually had waffles for breakfast that morning. It was like the one only time I ever had waffles in Trinity Poly for breakfast. So, yeah. That was, uh, that was a nice breakfast. Um, although, before I left, um, no kidding, around a spring break... You know, several months le- several months earlier, I actually talked to my mom about wanting to try a supplementing fish oil. And no kidding, on the day I graduated from Trinity Pauling was when I took my final fish oil pill. Yeah, in that in that little uh, you know in the capsule thing that they were all in. So that was a fun little tidbit for you about that. Uh. Anyway, um, in terms of preparing for the ceremony, you know, after several hours later, I got in, got my blues and grays because we didn't have uh, graduation caps and gowns. We were just we were just told we had to wear our blues and grays, you know, blue blazer, gray khakis, obviously a shirt and tie, and you know, we're, we're good to go. So you know, we do all the pomp and circumstance. Quite literally, because that's the name of the song. You know, 
pomp and circumstances. I have no idea if that song has any lyrics, but I get the feeling that that's the only way you'd ever be able to fit pomp and circumstances. Anyway, so, yeah, we get to the ceremony. We're all lined up in our chairs. And um, first, you know, the headmaster said several words because, you know, that's pretty much what the principal or headmaster would do. We were then given a speech by our valedictorian, who was also our junior prefect. And we were given a speech by our head prefect, who would eventually go on to play football at Stanford. Oh yeah. Let's just say if you been paying attention if you were paying attention to college football around the uh, very late 2010s and the you know the very early 2010s, then you may know who this person is. But uh, anyway, so actually, I really cannot recall what my valedictorian said in his speech. Honestly, of the graduation speeches I remember, I remember the one horse that's being very animated by a class president, that is. I remember nothing from my valedictorian from Horseheads. And I actually remember my salutatorian speech at Horseheads when he said, an old Chinese proverb say, states that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. In English, it translates to the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. But as for Trinity Pauling, I cannot recall a single thing that my, uh, that my valedictorian there said. I remember what my head prefect said because part of his speech involved a sort of specially abled person who didn't really say much or talk much. And then at one point he yelled, go Bruins. He was a Boston Bruins fan, I believe. At least that's how the story goes. And um, one tradition at Trinity Pauling, and this is to really rub in the fact that, you know, you made it through. And keep in mind, I... I never partook in this, and I don't regret it, but, you know, if given the opportunity to try it again, maybe I would. But it's actually a tradition at Trinity Pauling in which after you receive your diploma, well, as you know, the story dictates, you know, once you receive your diploma, no one can take it away from you, which is true. So, even though we're still on campus, and even though technically this is a very prestigious moment in our lives, because, you know, it wasn't just me, it was, you know, at the time, 88 other, you know, seniors slash um, PGs, you were actually free to smoke a cigar after you got your diploma. Yeah, I'm not kidding. You can smoke the cigar on campus immediately after you... But here's the thing. It had to be after you got your diploma. It had to be after you got your diploma. If you did it before, you do not get it. Because, again, that violates the rule. But if you're a graduate at Trinity Pauling, you're technically a full-grown adult. You're a man. You can do whatever you want. Within reason, of course. So, yeah. You really could... I really could have smoked a cigar... After I got my diploma. Now, I didn't because, you know, I never really found smoking to be all that great. Plus, you know, I kind of want to think about my future, you know. I want to make sure I don't get myself in any really bad habits. So, I didn't partake in it, but, like, the two people sitting next to me on either side were. But, you know, it's their prerogative. Although, I remember the entirety of the ceremony. I was just doing this the entire time. I was like... Try not to inhale the cigar smoke. Anyway, after it was all over, you know, because uh, actually throughout the course of like that day and like the day before, my folks and I were like trying to unpack my dorm. So immediately after graduation, we were out. In fact, I think I may have very well been the first senior off of campus that afternoon. I don't know. But, um, you know, my mother, my father, and my brother, you know, saw me graduate from Trinity Pauling. And funny enough, that was actually my brother's first time at Trinity Pauling. So, yeah, that was really cool. And I just remember, after everything was all said and done, because my parents drove one car, my brother and I drove another. 
And I, because here's the thing, graduation took place outside and outside it was a particularly, you know, hot day. I immediately took off my blazer and I think I undid a couple buttons on my button down shirt. And I'm like, ugh. Because I was kind of dying a little bit in terms of heat. Anyway, you know, it was still pretty early because here's the thing. Graduation was pretty early. Like, I want to say it was before noon. But I should, I should probably say, I got a chance to say my goodbyes to everyone. In fact, everyone did the day before. Because, like, all the seniors got to line up in, like, one area in the quad and like all the teachers, students, faculty, all that stuff, you know, walked by, you know, we shook everybody's hand and we shook the hands of all our brothers, of all our fellow brothers, you know. So I got to say my goodbyes, but you know, as we were leaving, I got to say goodbye to a few choice people, which is really cool. And um, no kidding, on the way home, my parents and I, my parents and my brother and I stopped to get lunch because, you know, it had been a while since we'd eaten anything. We had lunch at K we had lunch at KFC. Yes. So after graduating from TP, you get yourself some KFC. So yeah. And after we had lunch at KFC, we drove right up to Cuca Lake. Hey, it was Memorial Day weekend. We could go to Cuca Lake. And that was about it. Also, I remember on the way home from Trinity Pauling, I was actually playing against the Elite Four in Pokemon Platinum. That was fun. Surprisingly, I didn't get carsick. To this day, I actually still remember the team I used as well. Um, well, because, you know, I'm a cheat, you know, because, you know, I'm a greedy little, I'm a, cre I'm a greedy little nerd. I um, had my Pokemon Diamond game, so I was able to trade, like, all the starters. So my starting team, when I first played through Platinum, were like all three of the of the Sinnoh starters. So uh, Torterra, Infernape, and Empoleon. Alakazam, because now that I actually had two, you know, Nintendo DSs to trade with, I could actually get myself an Alakazam. Yes. Uh, Staraptor, because, you know, I need a Pokemon that can use Fly. And I actually spoke for trying to get a Glade, which, yeah, Glade is awesome. Because it basically had like swords for arms. And that's always a cool thing. So, yeah. Graduating from Trinity Pond was a pretty cool day. And I'm actually still surprised I remember as much of it as I do, to be perfectly honest. But, you know, it's thanks to Trinity Pond that I'm still here, so... Maybe I guess it's sort of for the best I remember a lot. Because if I sure, if I can't forget, because, well, here's the thing. I'll never forget that, you know, Trinity Pauling, at least the people at Trinity Pauling did save my life. And I'll forever be grateful. So I guess, you know, if I want to honor them, remembering all the best parts about Trinity Pauling, I think that's what I'll do. And that, that's why the TP Tales even exist. So, yeah. Ben Watson did the TP Tale. Kind of got the wrong day, but you know what? I don't care. I was happy to tell the story. I was definitely very humbled. I told you about this story. I'm hopeful that, you know, you take this story and see if maybe you can remember your own graduation. Or if you haven't graduated from anything yet, you know, what do you plan on doing? That'd be really cool to know. You know, I'd love to hear that stuff. So, yeah. If you want to make a comment saying what your graduation was like, or maybe you remember what you did, go ahead and share it. Maybe it brings up some good memories. I don't know. But, you know, always remember, if any of you guys don't want to talk about these sorts of things, or they don't want to, you know, chat, I'm always going to be here to listen. I'm certainly always going to have your back. Take care, and just like what I did that very night, make good choices. See ya.